When we talk about gender-based violence, we very often think about violence against women and, in fact, very often lump children into that category as well. But we forget that all crime is gendered. Young black men are more likely to be the victims of assault or murder than any other person in South Africa, particularly poor black young men. But it's important also that we understand the pernicious effects of domestic violence perpetrated mainly against women and in which children are often either the victims themselves or onlookers. And we also need to be clear and understand how prevalent rape is in our society. We know that rape is underreported. Only about one in nine rapes gets reported to the police. But unfortunately, when the police release the crime statistics each year, they don't consistently give us statistics for rape, not broken down by age category or gender. This is vitally important if we're going to monitor trends in rape over time and in specific localities. We also need more detailed data about domestic violence. The police are compelled by the Domestic Violence Act to keep records of all cases of domestic violence recorded at each police station, and yet that data aren't shared with the public each year when the crime statistics are released. The question is, why not?